Hi, I'm Oliver from Blendos.com again. This is an update for the last tutorial, a fourth method to make wireframe renders. Uh, first of all, thanks to JDEP from Blender Artist uh, for talking to me about this fourth method. And thanks to Jora, also from Blender Artist, uh, who had written some kind of tutorial about this method some time ago. As he said, uh, he wasn't probably the first that discovered this way to do wireframe renders, but I just discovered it from him. So let's go ahead and explain a bit about this method. It's a bit easier and even more comfortable to use than the rest of the methods because this one uses a very similar way than the others but it doesn't need the mesh to be duplicated so you have to work with only one mesh. Let's see how it works. So I have here uh, the second method I explained on the original tutorial and if you can remember I had two meshes uh, the original base mesh and this duplicated mesh we have uh, which has applied uh, wireframe material so you can see here is the wireframe material and it has the transparency turned on and here the C offset is uh, offsetting this uh, towards the camera so we can see this uh, on top of the solid mesh okay uh, this fourth method uh, uses the same technique but the two materials, the solid and the wireframe, are applied to the same mesh. So let's create uh, an instance of this scene here. Full copy. And now, this is the base mesh. Just delete this wireframe. Okay, so we have only the original mesh. What we had to do here is uh, just create a new material or just we have a wireframe already so I'm adding a wireframe material this will be the the base material of this mesh so if we press render we can see only the wireframe okay now uh, here we have the material index so we can add uh, another materials to this object and we can do that uh, I mean uh, apply different materials to different phases but in this case we are going to apply a new material here okay just solid mat and it's over the wireframe material but we need to apply it because uh, the main material is the first one that we add so let's select here let's go into the edit mode select all the faces and press assign all right. Now let's press F12, and you can see the wireframe on top of the solid mesh. This is because uh, the wireframe material already has the C offset turned on. Because if it doesn't, this is the result. It's the same as if we had uh, two meshes, one with the solid. Uh, material and another one with the wireframe material in the same exact position. Okay, so just increasing the C offset a bit like this, it works perfectly. Okay, and that's all. Uh, I'm sure there are even more ways to achieve this effect with material nodes or something but I think that you already get the point and is that working with 3D there are lots of ways to make the same thing happy blending